Hi, this is Les Perrier, and I'm coming to you today with a new video on how to make a Sudoku puzzle book in the new BookBolt Studio. BookBolt has made some changes, and so you can't make the puzzles the way that I had it in my earlier video because of the changes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to make a Sudoku puzzle in the new BookBolt Studio. Now, in order to do the puzzles, you have to have the pro version of BookBolt. Now, this is the opening screen of BookBolt. It's got all the different tutorials and everything. Uh, none of that has changed. The things on the left has not changed either. All of those are the same. Now, uh, it says weekly calls up at the top right-hand corner, and it used to say webinar. That's no big deal. So now we go up to the research tab, and it says research, research and create, and I want to create a puzzle. Now, notice that there is not the puzzle whiz anymore. It used to have an icon for puzzle whiz. It says Book Bolt Studio. So that's what we press, and now we come down to what's the project that we're going to do. So all different kind of things, paperback, cover, and interior. We want to do an interior paperback. So that's what we're going to do. We'll name the project, and then we'll come down and we'll check our trim size. And so I like to use 6 by 9 so that's what I use. And then you can select that. And then you will come down to our pages. So I'm going to have 15 puzzles and 15 solutions, so I need a total of 31 pages. So that's why I put in 31. And we tell it to create project. And now we're going to go over to the new screen. If you notice, we've got the pages on the left. And we have new icons up in the middle. We've got uh, text. And we've got the file library. And, and notice that we have page templates there. That's like a puzzle icon. And whenever we click on that, then we see all the different pages that we can have on our book, all the interior pages. Now, if you notice that there are some interior pages for puzzles, the one that we want to use is the Sudoku page. So we press on Sudoku. Now, notice that we have the pages individually. So we go in and we mark all the ones that we want to use as our Sudoku puzzle. So what I'm doing is I'm marking the pages that I want the puzzles on. So I want 15 puzzles, and I'm not going to mark the other pages. But there's another 16 pages there. So I say next, I go to Submit. Margin, I leave that the same, uh, the top and the right and the bottom and the left. And the stroke width, I leave that pretty much the same. You can change the line color if you want uh, to black or whatever. Um, I will keep it to uh, gray or change it to black. So now this difficulty tells you what kind of puzzle you want it to be. Easy, very easy, hard, whatever. So I pick easy, and then this is the type of puzzles that you can do. I like the 9x9, nine nine. and then the cell color. I like to have the cell color as white as well. Now, how many puzzles are you going to have on each page? I have one, and then it's got a box, Add Solution, after the puzzle pages. So after all 15 puzzles have been printed, then the other 15 pages are going to be the solutions. So I submitted it, and now you can see that I've got puzzles. If you go over to the left, you see page 1, page 2. You can click on it, it shows me page 2, and I can go all the way down to make sure that I have all of the 15 puzzles. So
So I've got the 15 puzzles, and notice that on page number 16, it shows the solution. So that's the solution for page 1, and it's got the solutions all the way down to the bottom. So I have 15 puzzles with 15 solutions. Now what I can do is do an add page and it gives me um, a message. I just ignore that. So what I want to do is I want to divide the solutions from the puzzle. So I hit the text and then I just go ahead and write in there what I want it to say under edit text. And I want this to show that the following pages are for the solutions. And I can pick all different kind of fonts if I want. And um, so I just use whatever I like. Then you can bold it or you can do all sorts of things with it. So I just want this to be my solutions page. Now, you need to go up there and save it because if you forget to save it and get out of it, then you don't have any of these things. So I've got a page that I have added the page. I hit the Added Page button, and then I put a new page called Solutions. Now, as you can see, my puzzle that doesn't have all of the squares filled in, and now I go to my solution, and my first one after that, well, you see the 9 and the 6 on this, which corresponds to the 9 and the 6 on the first puzzle. Now I'm going to go to my last page, and I'm going to add something at the end of that as well. Now I'm going to the text icon, and then I'm going to, and this will be at the end of my Sudoku puzzle book, edit text, and I'm saying thank you. Um, so I'm going to highlight that, and I'm going to use a little bit different I can change the size of it, and I can change where it's at on the page, and I need to save it. So up at the top left, I saved it. So now I've got my entire Sudoku book with 15 9 by 9 puzzles and 1 through 15 pages and then I've got 15 solutions. Now if I want to download this project I can. Now the one that says RGB is for a cover and the one for the interior is the CMYK. So we go ahead and depress that and you can see that BookBolt is processing that file. Now I should go into my download section and I should see a file and so I've got, got test one zip. I pull my zip folder down and I double click it and then it gives me test one folder. I open it up and I've got my PDF file. And so you can see the puzzle. I'm going to put it on 75% so I can see the whole puzzle a little bit better. And now the PDF file is being regenerated for the 75%. And I can go through here and I can see my puzzles. And so my puzzles look good. And these are already all formatted. See my solutions page that I put in between there. 
and then I have my thank you page at the end after the solutions. That's how you do the Sudoku puzzle on the new BookBolt format. So this is called BookBolt Studio.